Hello again everybody and welcome back to Booze Twos. Today we have a super, super cool unboxing because we are going to be finally unboxing the Mumza U2's figure. So without further ado, let's open this thing up. So I was originally going to wait for the uh, dads of figure to come in as well so I could unbox them both at the same time, but this guy arrived like I don't know, like a month ago, and the dad's up figure is nowhere to be found, so I figured, well, I'm just going to get the video out, why not? And I am also super, super excited to check out this figure, not only because it's uh, it's part of the Filza collection, but it's also a community design. This figure was designed by an artist in the YouTube's community named Dela. I think, I think that's how you pronounce her name. If I pronounced it wrong, I apologize. <laughs> but before we open this figure up and we check it out, I invited Dela on the channel to explain their design process. So without further ado, take it away, Dela. Hey, so when originally designing the Mumza figure, I kind of had to make stuff up since her character never had a set in stone design before. So I looked at a combination of fan art and her own Halloween cosplay of her character and basically merged the two into what it is now. Then afterwards, I added the crow to represent Filza's Twitch chat, since in their whole online parents bit, Kristen is the favorite parent. And then I added the wine bottle and shot glass to represent her hobby of collecting shot glasses, which was later changed to be a wine glass to match her Twitch profile picture, and probably because it's a little too complicated. And that's basically how the design came to be and what it is now. And there we have it. Thank you so much, Dayla, for coming on. Also, I'll throw their handle on the screen right there so you guys can follow them as well. Actually, I think they have two accounts, so here's the other account. Bam! But without further ado, let's take this thing out of the protective sleeve here, and let's finally check out the detail on the uh, the actual sleeve for this, uh, this figure here. Let's see if it's going to be stuck in there. It does look like it's pretty stuck in there. Hmm. I might have to pull it blocks out for- No, there we go. Okay. It came out in all one piece. That's, uh, that's good. Man, I am loving the look of the front of the sleeve here. This looks so good. So on the top here, we have Mumza. We have the concept right there, and it looks like we have a purple slash pink variant. Or not variant. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Gradient. That's it. So it looks like we have purple on the top there, and it fades to a pink on the bottom there. Then for the rest of the sleeve here, ooh. Ooh, this looks cool. Oh man, this is sick. However, I'm not sure if Dela was involved with the uh, design for the sleeve in the box. So Dela, if you're watching, comment down below and let me know. Also, since this is a uh, Dream SMP related, I think I have to put my disclaimer out there. There's probably gonna be references in here that I do not understand and I'm gonna miss them. So if I uh, miss any references, let me know down below in the comments. But it looks like we have a regular cloud right there. We got some pink clouds on the bottom there. Uh, we got this uh, circle thing. I'm not sure what that is. I thought it was the moon, but the moon's on the back. So I don't know. But it looks like we got a bunch of different colors and uh, shiny stars in the back there as well. We got the moon right there. We got some more pink clouds, some more regular clouds. Uh, and the same kind of design on this side as well. Oh, oh, there's another, there's another little circle. Hmm. Maybe there are planets, possibly? I don't know. But I will give you guys a quick little 360 of this sleeve because this thing does look very, very, very cool. But now let's take this thing off and let's check out the box. If it'll come off, here we go. There we go, that came off pretty nice, nice. So it looks like Mumza is number 406 of the collection. We have the concept right there. We have Mumza on the bottom there and it looks like we have that same kind of variant or not variant, gradient. Why do I keep saying variant? We have purple on the top there and it fades to a pink on the bottom there. Then on the first side of the box here, ooh, ooh, that is cool. It's like the northern lights, very cool. So it looks like we have the concept right there and we have the nighttime sky with a bunch of colors in it on the top there. And on the back here, oh, okay, I do recognize that. That is Filza and uh, Technoblade's house. Hmm, oh, how sad. <laughs> so I actually did watch a little bit of the Dream SMP. I only watch Technoblade streams. Um, so my knowledge only extends to that amount, but obviously I do know that that is Technoblade's house right there, and I think that's Filza's right there, maybe? No, wait, no, wait, maybe? No, I don't think so. Is Filza's house somewhere else? I don't know. I do know that that's Technoblade's house though right there. So I'll give you guys a little zoom in on the detail there. That looks so, so cool. We have Filza right there, and honestly, this is just a great design for the back of the box. And the description on the back of the box here says, for being the goddess of death, Mumza sure knows how to live. Whether it's enjoying a drink at a beautiful resort, watching the sunset over the ruins of a mighty kingdom or dancing with her star-crossed angel she knows that time is precious and all moments of life should be cherished what a sweet description very awesome now on the final side here we have another little quote and it says the end is only the beginning 
I like that. I like that a lot. But now on the top of the box here, we have another picture of the concept right there with that purple background. And now let's open this thing up and let's check out the message on the inside of the tab. And it says, cheers. Then it looks like we have the pink clouds there. It looks like maybe a planet. I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming it's a planet. And of course we got that very colorful sky there as well. But now let's take this figure out and wow, that thing is big. Um, and let's check out the inside box design. And it looks like we have the same kind of design that we saw on the uh, sleeve and the, uh, the box there. But that honestly looks so, so cool. I love the design that they did for the uh, for both the box and the sleeve. All right, so the box and the sleeve in the back here. And let's check out the uh, the actual figure. Man, this thing is going to be cool. Oh, man, the base on this thing. Ooh, okay, this is sick. Got to raise my desk up a little bit. But wow, check this thing out. What a nice figure. Man, this is cool. The detail for this thing looks absolutely insane. And I honestly love the design um, that uh, Dela made for it. So, so cool. So we'll start on the top. So it looks like Mumza is wearing a very big uh, black hat. Uh, we got some pretty good detail on that. It's a little floppy, a little bit of a, it's not like perfectly smooth, you know? Like we got a little bit of detail there. Um, and then it looks like we got some purple flowers on the front there. Then of course we have her long flowing hair and that honestly looks very, very good. Oh, we got the little uh, white strip in there as well. Very cool. And I honestly love how on the female U2's figures, they make uh, that little thing on the end of the U2's eye to make it look a little more feminine. So it looks like she has an earring on that ear right there. She's wearing some black uh, lipstick. And I'll give you guys a little zoom in for the face there. Honestly, it looks super, super cool. It looks like in one hand she was holding a drink and it looks like the wine is actually kind of spilling out of the cup a little bit or the glass, I guess. Wait a minute, oh my God. Wait a minute, look at this. I just noticed this thing is so similar to my concept. Not like the details on it, but like the uh, the pose it's in. So check this out, so look at that. So we're both holding a drink in the left hand there, and in the right hand we're both holding something. Like that's so weird, that's mm, weird, strange, hmm. I didn't copy the Mumza pose, I promise. But now let's continue going over this figure because this thing looks so, so good. So it looks like in the other hand, she is holding the Filza uh, Crow Plush, which is pretty cool. A little bit of uh, U2's Inception there. Looks like she has the Filza heart on the uh, the top of her dress there. She has another heart on the black part there as well. Not sure if you guys can see that. I think you guys can. And it looks like we have another Filza heart right there on her belt. And the detail on that crow honestly looks super, super good as well. Very cool. I wish I had the crow on hand so I could... Uh, I could show it like right next to the figure. That'd be pretty cool. But it looks like on the inside of the dress there, as you can see inside these sleeves, we have some purple in there, but then the outside of the dress is just black, which definitely fits the, uh, what is it? The goddess of death. Very, very cool. I'll give you guys a little 360. You know what? I'll give you guys an official 360. Here we go. Bam. While the 360 is going, I just want to give another shout out to Dela. This thing looks absolutely insane. As always, let me know what you guys think of this figure in the comments down below, but I think that's all I have for you guys for this video. So, if you guys could do me a favor, hit that like button and comment something down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video!